Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Allie the Mystical Fairy. So today I will be channeling in my room. Um, I will be doing a pick a card reading on what are your haters saying behind your back. I will have three piles for you to choose from. Pile one, I will be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Pile two, I will be using the Light Series Tarot deck. And pile three, I will be using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. So please choose whichever piles resonate with you the most. Hey, pile one, if you chose the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, this will be your reading. So what are your haters secretly saying about you? Pile one, I hope you're doing well. And you're having a good day so far. All right. I just saw the three of wands so these people could be at a distance from you these people could be from the past spirit what are power ones haters secretly saying about them what are power ones haters secretly saying about them we have the two of wands okay what are power ones haters secretly saying about them what are Power One's haters secretly saying about them? We also have the Ten of Pentacles as well as the Two of Pentacles. So right now I'm getting that your haters are talking about how successful you are. Your haters are talking about how you've made some decision that has um, really made you more successful, that has really made you more money. Your haters could be jealous of that as well. We also have the Two of Pentacles. So let's see. Clarify this Two of Pentacles spirit. Clarify this Two of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. Um, your haters are also talking about how maybe you used to juggle someone. This could also be an ex here. You could have, we also have the three of wands on the back of the deck. These people, these people could definitely be at a distance from you. Um, or either you put up boundaries and you put up space between these people. Um, this could be a lover here who feels like you chose your business or money over them. Or they're like, they're hurt because, um, I don't, I feel like they're hurt because you chose yourself um this is also a message take it as it resonates but your haters are also talking about how um you used to juggle people um they talk about how they believe that you were never able to settle down with just one person like you could never make up your mind about a lover is what they're saying about you. This could also be a lover themselves that is saying this about you that you used to juggle them. And um, maybe you could have put them in a third party or someone is hurt because of some type of, of money that you're making. Um... <laughs> Someone's just talking about how I feel like your haters feel left out because I feel like these are definitely people that you used to know here. Um, and I feel like they feel left out. They're hurt. But these people are just jealous. Um, let's see what's going on. What are my, what are Pal One's haters secretly saying about them? Let's see. What are Power One's haters saying about them? We have the star, Aquarius energy out here in the Nine of Cups. Your haters are talking about how you've been healing, like, um, and they've also been talking about um, a light that you have been radiating. Um, they noticed this light. These people could um, look at you. They could stalk you or these people could work with you, go to school with you. These people know you. 
or also like I said these people could be at a distance or you've either put up some type of boundary to where they can't get to you and they're very hurt about this they see how fulfilled you are they're talking about some type of it's I'm really getting some type of decision that's that's been making you happy or making you some making you money you could have also had a business partner here that you let go of because you could have let go of this person because they weren't doing their job basically and they see that you do um, better managing your business by yourself. They're talking about how independent you are, how satisfied you are with your life, how healed you are. There's something about a lover here. Maybe your haters knew about the about a lover that you had, and these people could be saying how um, you just never wanted to settle down. Maybe you have multiple girlfriends or multiple boyfriends here. And this is what your haters are talking about. We also have the three of pinnacles on the back of the deck. So like I was saying before, you could have worked with some someone. You could have a coworker that is hating on you. Um, I'm hearing they... Um, they could copy the way that you dress. Um... I'm getting like a specific message here. You could have told this coworker um maybe like your business because you thought that you could trust them, but I'm getting that they're spreading your rumors or your lies around the workplace or maybe the people that you know. All right, let's see. What are Power One's haters saying behind their back? What are power one haters saying behind? We have the Empress here. So Taurus energy. Your haters, honestly, like in overall, I really don't think your haters have much bad to say because there's not really that much bad coming out. Like there's... I don't know. I feel like your haters are talking about how you could be pregnant or you could be a mom here. If that doesn't resonate, um, you could just, your haters are talking about how you do everything well, how you get all of the attention. Uh, like I said, it's giving very much jealous energy for this pal. Um, they're talking about how beautiful your hair is, the way that you dress, and how basically you're sitting on your throne um you're enjoying um what you do you live every day you live like your haters are saying how the world basically revolves around you how they feel like the world or you think the world revolves around you But these people are just envious of you. But you could be very confident and very just like independent and you may uh, pour into yourself a lot. And that's why these people are saying that because you don't really give attention to them. So it's like, oh, you know, like there's this jealous energy here. What are power ones haters saying behind their back? The will of fortune. Wow, so many good cards for power one. I feel like your haters are talking about some change that you have made. You could have moved here. Your haters are talking about how you've made a change in your life. Maybe even for, I'm getting specifically mental health. These people could have known an old version of you and... These people could have really been in your circle, but it's like after you put some diff some distance in between these people or maybe you have made a change where you, like you moved or you got a new job or you just started focusing on yourself and they're seeing a change in you. You could have 
maybe been depressed in the past, maybe had a lot of anxiety. I'm getting like a younger energy. You could have just been a lot younger. I'm also getting that your haters are basically stuck at the same age that they were at when they were friends with you. Um, they, I think that's why you have haters because like, I feel like you're maturing and you're growing up here and like with them, it's like they don't really know like how to change. They don't know how to grow up. They don't like, I feel like your haters are seeing you make adult moves. Like you could buy a house, you could be moving, like you could just, you could be doing like very adult things and these people are still stuck where they're at basically and so they're talking about this change um i don't i feel like they don't really think this change is like 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 they think that you think you're all that now basically and they don't believe that um you're basically as mature like they don't think that you've grown at all basically I feel like they're saying things like, oh, I used to know this person. They did this. They did that. Or, and back to like the whole juggling thing. Like, I feel like they used to, t they talk a lot about the lovers you used to have here. Oh, I knew this person. They could never settle down or they could never do this or never do that. And I feel like that's what your haters are saying about you here. But it's like they know this is shit. Like, they don't want to accept the fact that literally things are totally different now. That you're in a whole different energy. That you're in a whole different state of mind. And these people don't want to accept that. But they're noticing it. They're talking about it. What are power ones haters saying behind their back? What are power ones haters secretly saying about them? We have the Hierophant here, so they could be talking about, like I said, I feel like with this Hierophant coming out, it's really about some change here. I feel like they're talking about how you maybe believe in a higher power or that you believe in the universe, you believe in God or something, and maybe you use, maybe you didn't used to believe in manifestation or like or you know just or like spirituality or things like that in the past and I feel like they're talking about like how spiritual you are now and like I said I feel like these people think that that you're all that basically just because you've changed and you've grown um spiritually and mentally Um, I'm also getting a sense of something about a legal battle. Like I said, this could be an ex here, an ex lover, or you could have sued someone. Um, something about the court, the court system. I don't know why that's coming out. That won't resonate for everyone. Why are power ones what are power ones haters secretly saying about them? What are power ones haters secretly okay? So we have the four of pentacles. I feel like your your haters are saying that you're selfish. I feel like they're also saying that you're selfish with your time now. I feel like your haters are saying how you don't spend time with them anymore. Like I said, I really feel heavily that you've known these people in the past. Um, they also feel like, like it's kind of like an energy of you don't really go out with them, but that's because you're saving your time and you're saving your money for something greater. Um, like you're not just like, I don't know, spending money on unnecessary things because you have like a bigger goal that you want to accomplish. So basically I'm getting like things that are like worldly things, like maybe spending money on just things that aren't necessary. 
They are also talking about how stable you are and how you just want to basically hold on to your money. These could also be people, this could be someone that you used to give to, like, this could be someone that you used to give money to, that you used to help out, and they're talking about how now you don't want to help them out anymore, you don't want to give them any money anymore, so that could also resonate here. For the signs, I'm getting Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, heavy Taurus here with the Empress, I'm also getting um leo aries sagittarius heavy aquarius here heavy aquarian energy i'm also getting gemini and libra so yes pal one i hope this resonates for you if it does don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye Hello, Pile 2. If you chose this Light Sears Tarot deck, this will be your reading. Okay, Pile 2, what are your haters saying behind your back? What are they secretly saying about you? All negative energy will be sent right back to the sender. Spirit, what are Pile 2's haters saying about them, secretly saying about them behind their back? What are Pow Two's haters secretly saying about them? Let's see. The Three of Swords. This came out for Pow Number One as well. Um, these people are hurt. This hater could be an ex lover, but they're hurt about something. Let's see. What are Pow Two's haters saying about them behind their back? What are Pile 2's haters secretly saying behind their back? What are Pile 2's? The Queen of Pentacles, as well as the Seven of Swords. What is Queen of Pentacles here? Um, it's giving Taurus energy. It's giving... Um, um, earth energy I feel like you're so at peace right now that they're talking about how at, at peace you are um and even though these people deceived you they're talking about how at peace you are these people thought that they're talking about how they could have hurt you in the past or they they tried to sabotage whatever you had going on but you're literally like you are literally minding your business you like you literally don't care because you're the queen of pentacles you're basically sitting at your throne um these people are very hurt um, I don't know what these people did to you. You could have known these people. These people could have backstabbed you in some way. And they're just hurt because they see you so much at peace. They don't understand why they couldn't affect you, basically. So, I really feel like this is a really deep feeling. Like, I get, like, with this Eight of Swords, I just feel like they're so confused. Like, they don't understand how you still were able to prevail basically pow two this is a very like strong feeling that i'm getting in my chest here um it's like like i don't even know these people are actually talking about it's like a feeling like a deep feeling like like they're devastated like devastation that you are still here and well and and popping and successful it's like they don't they don't understand pile two that was i don't know what they did for, did to you but your revenge was just keeping your peace and and sitting at your throne it's literally like this this woman has literally a smirk on your face it's like you knew or you you know or you knew that you were going to win anyways yeah pal too that's crazy 
What are Paul 2's haters secretly saying about them? What are Paul 2's haters secretly saying about them? And they're back. The star. Aquarian energy here. Um, yeah, Paul 2. You just have a light about you. They're talking about how you've healed. And this literally came out for Pile 1 as well. So if you're drawn to Pile 1, definitely check out Pile 1. But this this is a lot deeper than what I was getting with Pile 1. It's like a deep feeling here. Um, your light is way too strong for these people. I don't know. I'm getting so with my, with my intuition, I'm feeling like some type of friend group here. Um... It's almost like you outshined all of them. And these people could have tried to basically hold you back here because they saw your light first. Um, you may have not been as confident. You may have not been as stable in the past. But these people could see your light inside of you. They saw how pure you were. And, um, and basically... I feel like these people took advantage of you. You could have been very a very nice person. These people could could I'm getting a mean vibe or either these people were nice to your face but you know, but talked about you and were mean behind your back. These people definitely backstabbed you or did something in a way where they thought that they got over on you, but it's like Maybe these people didn't even know how much money you were making or how maybe rich you could be. This could even just be rich in spirituality, rich, wealthy as just in mind, body, spirit. But I'm also getting money here. These people didn't know how rich you were. And oh, you, I'm getting a strong message. Okay, so yeah, your spirit guides and ancestors basically could have um, got revenge on them. Um, like, I have a strong feeling. It's kind of like me in a way. Anytime someone does me wrong, I don't like, I try not to react because I just know that my ancestors and spirit, like, they're gonna get them regardless. I really get that energy here. Like, you just had confidence that it will all come down on them eventually. You could have outshined these people, basically. Your light was way too good for them. They couldn't handle it. Um, also, some people, they're just not able to understand, like, how... Well, they don't really have the ability to think higher. <clears throat> so... It's like, of course, they weren't going to understand you. They weren't going to understand your light. And they weren't going to like your light. Pile 2, this is a really deep message. <laughs> I'm really diving deep here. But you are an extremely powerful person. Just know that that you don't even have to do anything for people to to be heartbroken. Like, these people could could have done something terrible to you but i'm telling you you don't have to do anything it's like your spirit guys and ancient ancestors here like they are they really do have your back like they are strong like you have a strong powerful team behind you you don't have to do anything i'm also getting like something about eyes 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 like your eyes could pierce people like your eyes could cut people like it's like when you look at them or it's like something about your eyes. Like when people look into your eyes, like, 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 yeah, you could be really nice, but it's like, like your mind, like there's something spiritual about your eyes. Like it could really pierce people or you could really just, you have the ability to see through people. This, could, this ability could have unlocked by like, by, um, these people are learning your lesson with these haters and these people. Alright. Spirit, what are Pile 2's haters saying behind their back? What are they secretly saying about them behind their back? So many cards coming out. What are Pile 2's two, haters saying behind their back, Spirit? 
the five of wands i don't know what you did pal to like i said i feel like an energy of nothing i just keep getting drawn back to this woman who's just sitting here i feel like this literally you like you literally did nothing at all and these people are just like like in some type of conflict i just just know that this is almost like a karma reading that's what it's coming out as almost like these people whoever hurt you in the past they're not happy um they could appear happy on the outside but like i said earlier it's a feeling like they could appear happy like the outside like like everything could be all happy jolly whatever but it's like a feeling like these people are sad like these people are not really happy with their lives they're finding like a lot of conflict in their lives they're finding that like things aren't working out for them so they're talking about how things work out for you but they just don't understand because they thought they sabotaged everything that you had or something they don't understand how you were able to rise up from this and they're just talking about they're talking about you know what i what it is like i said it's coming out as karma so it's literally like it like backstab like or it like ricochet i don't know what i'm trying to say but like they tried to do something to you but it came back on them basically so i feel like they're talking about this like or I don't even know if these people are even like spiritual or self-aware enough to even realize that like this is their karma these people might not just by this reading here these people could not be like that that self-aware but and if they're not that self-aware it's like literally in a 5d like that's their karma like they're realizing that this is their karma for hurting you basically I feel like they're talking about how much well off you are without them and basically how like you were just able to prevail even with them even with them hurting you even with them oh I'm trying to get I'm getting like ruining your life these people could have tried to ruin your life I'm getting like this this one resonate for everyone but i'm getting like an energy here that these people like really faked like they were your friends and like they were really not here like they were being fake with you just to like get access to something just so that they can hurt you or try to ruin your life here all right, what are Pile Two's haters secretly saying about them? What are Pile Two's haters? Let's see. Queen of Cups, wow. You could have um, air, earth, and water in your chart here. You're just so like with her like i get this as her like this motion of her like throwing her hands up like you basically just let everything go these people are not at a good vibration and like your your vibration was way too high your light was way too bright for these people here pal too um your your haters are just like talking about how just how you've been moving on, how you, like, maybe how you're to yourself and how you, how to, I don't even like, I just feel like I'm getting like these, like, brain farts because, like, in the back of my mind, like, I just feel like they're not even like, I don't want to even say it's like, smart like they're not i don't want to say that they're like your haters or whoever hurt you they're dumb but it's like i'm not even sure if they're self-aware like they just like <sighs> i have no clue like i feel like it's so mean to say that they're dumb like i don't want to say that that's like mean but you get what i'm saying like like i'm getting a brain fart just because like 
I just don't even know if they're like even aware enough to really like like they see how powerful you are on the outside but really how powerful how 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 powerful you are like spiritually like in your life like how powerful you are on the inside it's like they don't really know th know that they don't really know how that feels Like, there's something here where, like, they see you on the outside. So, whatever they're talking about is surface level. But they have no idea how how beautiful and how powerful you are on the inside, basically, is what I'm seeing. Or what is what I'm feeling here. With this Queen of Cups, though, I feel like they're talking about how you are, how people love you, how you are very loved, how um, you're able to, honestly, I'm also getting a message, how you're able to take care of yourself, like how you're able to, to do just fine by yourself, like you, you're, you're able to um, just take really good care of yourself. You're, you're able to take care of your body, like your mental all right pile two i'm gonna get one last card this message was deep pile two whoever clicked on this message if it resonates definitely let me know comment down below and if you stay to this point definitely comment because this is one of the deepest messages that i've gotten like in a while this was really deep all right, last card. What are Pal 2's haters saying behind their back? What are they secretly saying behind their back? What are Pal 2's haters? The Ten of Swords. I told you, these people are like... Well, okay, for you, I feel like like you've put an ending to something. I feel like this is really symbolic. I just, when I think of your energy pile too, it like a lot of peace just comes over me. It's like you've let something go. Like you're just really in tune with yourself right now. And this is really symbolic. So for you, I feel like they're just talking about how you look the other way, how you'll never ever basically contact them again, how you'll never ever do business with them again, how you'll never be friends with them, how you'll never be their lovers, whoever these people are, you just won't ever, ever, ever deal with these people again. That's what they're talking about. And they know this. Um, They've talked about how you started a new life, how you're on a different path now, and how you realized who you who you are and whatever they did to you, it couldn't it couldn't hurt you, and that basically you're on a whole different path, you're on a whole different level, and I feel like they're talking about how you're finding more like minded people now, because I feel like whoever these people were, like, they just weren't good for you, these could have been people from your past, and it's like you kind of outgrew these people, and, or these people just, like, like, they could have hurt you in some way, like, but these people are devastated, like, they are devastated that they couldn't get to you, and that, they like you like they're devastated how you basically just turned your life around five of pinnacles on the back of the deck your haters they could be losing money here your haters are devastated and look i feel like this is your energy with this four of wands and then the three of wands here i feel like you put some distance between these people look at this three of wands You've definitely put distance between these people. You could have moved. With this four of wands, I feel like you're over here celebrating while they're over here, like, they're in the five of pinnacles energy. Like, your haters are just talking about how something backfired here. They're talking about how um, you're over here celebrating, having fun. These people also are jealous of you. I feel like they give you the evil eye, especially if they stalk you. Um, 
I feel like you're having like you've met you could have you could be meeting your soul tribe or you've or you've met a soulmate and a friend or something along this matter where you've met someone who is more or people who are more suited for you who actually support you who actually like let you uh, shine your light you know in whatever you do like they don't ever try to dim your light here but these people are devastated, pal, too. And it's like, you didn't even have to do anything, pal, too. You're, you have a strong spiritual team, pal, too. And you didn't have to do anything at all for these people to, to get their karma or for them to, you know, be in this energy. These people also miss you as well. I think these people regret. I feel like there is a sense of regret here. They could be talking about this. Um, I think they talk about how they miss you. But I think they also, it's like a, they also don't like you though. It's also an energy of hate as well. I guess because they see you doing well. They see you sitting at your throne. They see you at peace. So it's kind of like they hate that too. And yeah pal two this was really deep but pal two let me know if this resonates and and if it does make sure you like comment share and subscribe and pal two i hope you have a wonderful day wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in my next video bye hello pal three if you chose the wild unknown tarot deck this will be your reading Okay, pal three, let's find out what are your haters secretly saying about you behind your back. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, what are pal three's haters secretly saying about them? Spirit, what are pal three's haters secretly saying about them? We have the six of one. So your haters are talking about how popular you are, how you found some type of success here. I'm also getting a kind of like energy, in, not energy. I'm getting an envy energy with the six of wands. Like they want to be, they want to be as popular as you. They want to have what you have. They want to, they want to be as inspiring as you is what I'm getting here. They feel like you're inspiring people or you're a good influence on people here. You could be an influencer here, but they're talking about how you could have a plat platform and they see it growing. What are Pal 3's haters secretly saying about them? What are Pal 3's haters saying behind their back? We have the Son of Wands. So, oh, you see this snake here? These people could have been snakes. These people could have backstabbed you in the past. I'm getting um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy so far. With this Son of Wands card coming out, your haters are talking about how um, you use your looks to get what you want. Um, I feel like you're also really good at communication here. You use the way that you speak to get what you want. Um, they're talking about how flirty you are and how basically you can get anyone to fall in love with you. You can get someone to, like, they think that you do something, like, malicious here, like, with your, like, I don't know. It's a, it's an energy of, your haters just feel like you can get anything because of maybe the way that you look. Let's see. What are Pal 3's haters saying about them behind their back? What are Pal 3's haters? Let's see. The Two of Cups, literally. I feel like your haters are talking about how you can get anyone that you want, how anything can go your way just by the way that you look. Um, 
by how you put yourself together, by how you communicate. They feel like they're talking about how many lovers you have. They could also be saying how you get around. Um, this could not be true, but I feel like these these people are also probably jealous and envious of you. So they're just saying anything because they don't understand how you're able to just get anyone to fall in love with you. It's like they feel like they're talking about how you must do something else. Like you must like do something like malicious here. You're able your haters are talking about how you're able to get people to give you things. Your haters are talking about how you are able to get like your lovers to literally give you things just by being pretty or being handsome here. Or they're talking about how anybody would literally do anything for you because of your looks. And they're jealous of that. Especially when I look at this snake here, I feel like that's how they're looking. Like, I don't know. It's really weird. You could have used to go out with these people or either you could have known these people. And like, you used to maybe grab all of the attention and... They're talking about that. What are Pile Three's haters saying behind their back? Let's see. We have the death here. So they're talking about how you've made some type of transformation here, how you've changed. Um, your haters are talking about some type of glow up that you've recently had so also with this death card here i feel like um your haters are talking about how you could have left something that you could have maybe even left a, a love situation here and they're talking about how you how you're glowing now there's something about your happiness um it's like now that you're happier or you feel more free, it's like you're glowing. Um, they notice this about you. They're talking about this. What are Pal 3's haters secretly saying about them? What are Pal 3's haters secretly saying about them behind their back? We have the... Five, six, seven, eight. We have the eight, eight of cups coming out here. So yeah, you could have definitely left somebody. You could have left somebody. You could have left the situation. You could have left a home, a hometown, or you could have left a home here. You could have moved. And your haters are talking about how you've left something. I think your haters are talking, also talking about how they thought you were going to be stuck and whatever energy this was like you could have been with the lover they thought you were going to be stuck with them forever here um trigger warning but you could have been in like an ab abusive or emotional emotionally abusive relationship and your haters are talking about how they never thought that you would get out of this situation your haters are also talking about how how um, you left them they feel like like i said if you've known these people and you like you get a feeling of who this is they're talking about how you left them behind you left them behind for the six of wands you left them behind for your own happiness is what they're what they're talking about but I feel like they're not saying it, saying it like that. I feel like your haters are saying how you cut them off. But like they're not. But I feel like the deeper meaning is meaning is literally like you left them for your own happiness. But they're just saying how your haters are talking about how you're quick to cut someone off. How you just cut anyone off. What are Pile 3's haters saying about them behind their back? 
love how these haters are really saying about them. We have the Mother of Cups here. Your haters are talking about how you're in such a more loving energy here. I'm getting um, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I'm also getting Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Your haters are talking about how you're in such a better energy and how you... Like, this is how they view you. Um, they're talking about how you are getting what you want. Also, with this Mother of Cups, your haters are talking about how admired you are. You're... I don't know. This is a specific message, but if you are, if you've been going like fine dining recently, or you've just been going like out to eat a lot, your haters are talking about that. I don't know why that came up, but I'm getting like fine dining or something about eating out. Like your haters are talking about how you like are eating at fancy restaurants or you're eating at these different restaurants like i said it's an energy of you're able to basically like especially if you go out with like different like if you go out with partners or like your lovers like you're able to basically get anyone to take you out or bait or get anyone to get you things um i'm also getting an energy of someone here like you have such a magnetic and like powerful energy that like you could go out and maybe people would literally buy your drink for you or buy, or buy you food and your haters are talking about that and it's just because of how beautiful or handsome you are. You just get people to, like, buy you anything that you want. And that's what they're talking about here. What are Pal 3's haters saying about them? What are Pal 3's haters talking about behind their back? We have the lovers here. So, oh my gosh, literally, you're able to get anyone to basically fall in love with you. You're ba you're able to get anyone to be very, like, admired with you or obsessed with you. And that's what your haters are talking about. Your haters are also very jealous of this. Um, they feel like that you get all the attention, that you think that you're all of that um and how you could be someone who like who basically like they view you as someone who is spoiled so your haters are talking about how spoiled you are you could be an only child here and your haters are just talking about how spoiled you are and how you get what you want or how you're able to, they also talk about, like, they believe that you're manipulative. So, they're also talking about how manipula manipulative you are. But this doesn't have to be true. What are Pal 3's haters secretly saying behind their back? What are Pal 3's haters secretly saying behind their back? all right we got two cards well we got three cards coming out we have the page of cups coming out we have the seven of swords and we also have the ten of swords coming out so with these cards i just get an overall energy of i just really feel like these people think that you're a you're spoiled in some type of way um they think that you do something like malicious to get what you want with this uh seven of swords here they think that you are just are deceptive they also think that you're manipulate you manipulate other people and that's what they're talking about but they're just haters like they're just jealous um 
I get an energy for you pal three that you can literally just be sitting pretty or you can just be sitting there all handsome and you just get people to come up to you and they literally just do things for you and there's nothing wrong with that but they're also talking about how selfish you are and stuff because i like i'm getting a specific message here like how your haters don't think that you should like accept these things like your haters don't think that you're basically deserving of any of the things that you have or the or the opportunities that come your way like they don't think that you're deserving of it so like like that's what they're talking about like they think that you should like I don't know, not accept different offers or or different opportunities. We also have the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like these people are very like, like they're talking about how, I feel like they, like they, I feel like they talk about how, like I said, I feel like they think that you hurt other people or they think that you hurt people to get what you want, basically. But I don't see this being true, but this is what they're talking about. I think they're also hurt because they like wish that they could have this and they just don't have that the ability to um, or their light doesn't shine as bright as yours to be able to just attract people like you could literally attract strangers to you anywhere that you go and these people are sad and hurt because they're unable to do the same thing they're unable to attract different people you could just also attract people who like give you random messages that are that you need to hear like i don't know that's so specific but like strangers could just give you like random words of advice or words of of courage of courage and motivation and i don't like if you've hung around these haters like this has probably happened to you multiple times and i feel like like they always felt some type of way about about it or you could have got lots of compliments from people in front of these people and your haters like they just kind of felt a way about it i'm also getting an energy here of some type of like social media life so you could have like an audience here especially with the six of ones here and you could get like a lot of comments and views just so you just get a lot of attention as a whole and these people have just always been bothered by it and that's what they're talking about like they think that you're undeserving they talk about how undeserving you are and how you hurt other people people and manipulate other people and how you think you're all that because you're basically able to get what you want or you know or how like they don't understand how you're able to attract like certain people to you basically yeah pal do you have some real haters here um yeah these people are just jealous though and like i said you could be very very attractive here and like i said i feel like you could use basically your attractiveness or or like they talk about how you could like flirt with people to get what you want like they or maybe like a even like like you seduce people to get what you want and then i don't know like you could just bounce or something that's how that's how, that's what your haters are talking about here but that doesn't mean that it's true and yeah pal three you have some real haters and but these people are really just like like mad because they can't like do the same thing as you okay pal three that is what i have for you pal three um let me know if it resonates and if it does don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i hope you have a great rest of your day evening afternoon morning whenever you see this video and I hope to see you in my next reading. Bye.